Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23536. And also here I want to mention that I saw a lot of you asking why the dev channel is not on version 23H2 and other comments. Well, I need to explain again, the dev channel is not tied to any specific Windows 11 version. So new features that you see on the dev channel, new updates, new changes, new improvements may not ship to the main release release ever. So that is why the dev channel is not tied to any specific version and it is not showing the version 23H2 inside settings or WinVer. Most likely the dev channel will switch to 23H2 after the official release of Windows 11 23H2 on the main release. So if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin by the video. In this latest dev channel build, we don't have any any new features or improvements but we have two new app updates inside Windows 11 we have updates for the snipping tool app and also for the notepad app which are rolling out to the dev and canary channels to get those updates that are slowly rolling out just open up the Microsoft Store and then go to library and then click on get updates and the Microsoft Store of course will automatically see what apps have updates and will install them for you now let me show you the new updates first of all the new snipping tool app has some improvements basically whenever you're trying to take a screenshot or re Record. Microsoft is introducing the combined capture bar which will make it easier to switch between the screenshot mode and the recording mode as you can see here it is really simple in the screenshot mode you're gonna have all the old features in a drop down here and also the recording mode where you have to select the region where you want to take that screenshot now you can use print screen or win shift plus s to take a screenshot or win shift plus r to open the capture bar for recording Microsoft is also adding microphone support for the screen recording function which is really nice it basically a new app setting will let you configure the default audio recording settings for new recordings and if you have multiple recording devices you can select your preferred recording device before you start recording as i've said these features are slowly rolling out so right now it's a bit weird not all the features are implemented for me at least but you can check for updates and see if they are implemented for you and there was also an issue with this new update basically whenever you are taking a screenshot windows could ask you select an app to open this ms screen clip link basically if you encounter this dialog you need to select the snipping tool regarding the snipping tool we also have some updates that are not rolling out right now but we will have that in a future update basically Microsoft is working behind the scenes to implement text recognition in screenshots basically it will use AI to let you easily select a text from a picture using snipping tool regarding the notepad app Microsoft is introducing a new update that will start automatically saving your session state allowing you to close notepad without any interrupting dialogues then pick up where you left off when you return Notepad will automatically restore previously open tabs as well as unsaved content and edits across those open tabs. Saved session state does not impact any of your saved files, though it is still your choice whether to save or discard unsaved changes to files anytime you close a tab. And you'll be able to turn this feature off in app settings if you would prefer to have a fresh start every time you open Notepad. And now let's talk about a few fixes in this build. For example, regarding the Windows Copilot, Microsoft fixed an issue that was causing the Windows Copilot icon in the taskbar to be flipped back backwards for right to left languages. Regarding the taskbar, they fixed an Explorer AXE crash impacting taskbar appearing correctly after powering on your device. They also fixed an issue which was causing apps in the taskbar to appear cut off without a rounded corner on the end when you had a lot of app windows open and the taskbar was said to not combine. Regarding live captions, they fixed an issue that was causing live captions to sometimes show the same line of text twice. Regarding input, they fixed a high hitting ctfmon.exe crash in recent flights which may have impacted the ability to type for some insiders. Regarding the settings app, Microsoft did some work to help improve the performance of opening settings for insiders with the new home page. And lastly, regarding the task manager, they fixed an issue with, that could cause task manager to crash when using the end task option in the details page in recent builds. So basically, this is all there is to it in this build. Of course, there are also a few known issues mentioned in the official blog post from Microsoft. You can check that out in the article below. But if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.